Hello and welcome back, I'm Offer of Mercia and this is episode 59 of our The Elder Scrolls Total War mod and a Queener campaign. Don't forget to like, a comment and subscribe if you're enjoying that year content and then really subscribe by pressing that little bell notification so you're notified every single time my content goes live. If you want to keep up to date with my content related updates then don't forget to follow me on Twitter which can be found in the description below alongside the PayPal link. If you want to drop us a quick quid, it would be very much appreciated. But otherwise, let's get on with this here episode, shall we? And I need to move my, my, my keyboard just a little bit to the left, because it's Arrow Key Day. Arrow Key Day, just on the Gundabad campaign as well. So if you have not checked that out, don't forget to. It is a pretty good one, to be honest. It's pretty banger. The 60, 60th episode for it. I've been just... Go check it out, honestly. It's a really good banger. Get some really big battles in, get, get a siege. Get, yeah. Get a load of, get a load done, to be honest. Get a load done. Right. I think we left it on an end turn, right? This geezer can hit me from behind, which is a bit upsetting. That is a bit upsetting. Right, we're going to lose Portanum, I think, this time. I don't think it's a, too much of a um, surprise that we're going to lose Portanum. Try and get as many retrains as we can at 10 more. And then get as many, many troops as we can from Central. We are just going to have to weather this storm. And it is one heck of a storm, right? Look at how many armies they've got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Got 9. And they might even got another one, like just here where I can't see, you know, for some reason. Who knows? But and we've already killed two. We've already killed two armies as well. We can't forget that. We've already done two armies in that I came from Tenmar. So we had eleven armies in total. This at one point. And you probably got more just rushing down this little stretch right here to come towards us. Hopefully they can't get towards us, get to us anywhere else. Am I still a protectorate of yeah, I'm still a vassal of Anaquina. I mean of Valenwood. I'm not a I'm not a um a vassal of myself. Well, technically you are, but you know, you know, you as a ruler, it's you rule for the people, right? Sure, rule for the people. Mm. That's not gonna happen, is it? I'm gonna have to get them and then just get what I can. Right, it's definitely an end turn though, so let's get a quick save. We are just waiting on buildings and roads and all sorts. We're making a decent amount though. We're making 7,000 something. Which is not too bad. Right. Let's hope these guys um, attack us. And attack King Kashara. And then we'll deal with the dude down at Hakashi and Radon just here outside Orchrist. Because they do have a stack somewhere in the dark. I just don't know where. And I'm really hoping they don't go for Riverhold up here. But they go f and try and de defend around here. That'd be brilliant for me. That'd be brilliant for me. Right. End turn. Let's go have a look at what Port News is going to bring us. Hopefully they did not attack us this turn. That'd be juiced, wouldn't it? Yeah. That was short-lived. That was short-lived. Uh, I've got one peasant spearman. I've not moved up on me, but they'll probably do it after. Who are they sending? Ladders... Siege Tower. What do you get, by the way? You get a Royal Chosen Bodyguard Unit, which is 6 and 17, so it's not bad. Not decent. I mean, it is decent. What else have you got? Royal Chosen Bows. Nasty buggers. Very nasty buggers. Ah, oh, dear. Yeah. 9 melee, 8 missile, 13 defense. Vainly Wood Swordsman is just like pretty much the best I can hope for in most of these armies. Yeah, and then Vainly Wood Light archers as well. I wish they'd um, stop getting like Dominion archers and Royal Chosen in their armies and just came up with Vainly Wood Conscripts. That'd be beautiful. Can only hope for the best, can't we? But, you know. They're going to probably come at us with worse and worse armies, hopefully, the easier they come. Or they might just start coming at us with like better and better armies. Depends what happens, really. But if they do come at me with better and better armies, then I'm going to start to 
lose more battles than I can keep up. Oh, hang on. Dominion. It doesn't matter which side I take. I just need to take a side. Well, six times this. I'm not going to spend too much. Try and get as many kills as we can by activating the towers. And killing as many Dominion swordsmen as we can. Which is not going to be many because they're 11 and 16. At least they're not 11 and 19 though. But yeah. Eventually they'll be coming to us. Um, the Chosen will be coming to us. Whoever comes through the gate will be coming at us. Not going to be pretty. Enemy have ladders at the walls. Not going to be pretty. It's going to be over soon. Send them back whence they came. And here we go. Hopefully we can get some kills. The enemy's ram has They're already through the gate before the ladders. I wish they charged the ladders at me. I really wish they charged the ladders at me. Ill news comes unlooked for. The enemy have taken our walls. Yeah. They see this mullering me, aren't they? Absolutely mullering me. Nothing I can do about it. Is my general all the way over on this side? Or is he, like, stuck in here somewhere? I think he's stuck in the melee somewhere. Just have to keep spamming um, rally troops to keep him alive, to keep him, keep him going. Get as many kills as we can. Not many that we can do. Not much that we can do with this. He must be somewhere. Oh, he's here. Is that him? I can't tell. Where is my general? Where is he? I can see him now. Right, yeah. Yeah. 10% killed by us, though. It's not bad. I'll take that. I'll take 10%. 120. I'll take that. It's more, it's more than I thought I'd get. More than I thought I'd get for sure. Can they killed 41 of himself, 41 by themselves against the um what do you call them? The Dominion Swordsmen. Pretty decent. Beautiful. They kinda routed as soon as my um my captain got killed though, didn't they? Which we expected. To be honest, I wasn't expecting them to stay over long when uh, my captain got killed. If they did stay and like fought to the end, that'd have been a miracle to be honest. It would have been a little bit of a miracle. So they're attacking us at 10 more, which is good. Uh, no. Nice. So we're getting a battle with Orgnum as well. And there's there's the army that I thought was coming for me. I can just see it up north. Doesn't look like they've sent me up at Riverhold, so we're probably going to take that. Doesn't look like they've sent me, trying to send me at Riverhold. Um, I'll accept it, but I can't actually get it. I've got catapults as well, so I'll be able to move these out. Ooh. Dominion archers, Dominion archers, Royal Chosen archers, Dominion cavalry, Royal Chosen cavalry, Dominion archers, Dominion archers, Dominion archers, Dominion cavalry, a lot of, a fair a decent amount of Wood horse archers as well. One, two, only two, in fact. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about, but they've got a lot of foot archers. We might be able to kill their general if we're lucky. There's three trebuchets at my capital. Ooh. That might be decent. How can I assist? I'd kill you this is a... Oh. Ooh, that army. Dear Lord Almighty, that army. And they've got two cavalry. Two cavalry generals running the show, William. Ay, ay, ay. Ew. Hopefully. I can maybe snipe him with my Khajiit Sorceress. That'd be ideal, wouldn't it? That'd be very, very ideal. Mm, the likelihood of that happening is not massive, though. So for Kishara, he's going to be going for Jellius first. And then I might double back and take uh, Thulsa. Or maybe I'll go forward for Hakashi, then ferry backwards and forwards. This place will be a bit of a pain to take. Gotta, might be a pain to take. It might be a pain to take. I'm not sure. Great House Redoran and the tribes of Ashlanders have decided they don't want to fight anymore. That is very nice of them. I think Redoran's pretty much in a very bad spot at the moment, though. So, I don't know how much that's going to help them. Or oh, Christ. Nice. Keep our retrains going. Hang on. Sifimno Daicha. 
Yep, yep, yep. Let's get them if we can. Malmary men at arms. They're pretty decent, so I'm just going to get them as well. Hmm, yeah. I don't really want this heavy swordsman. I'm not too fussed about him. Over to Corinthe. Not bad. Malmary men at, men at arms. Get them as well. Some archers. Yep. Over to Predator Massa. This is just re that was just a retrain, so I'm not too worried about that. That's good. Get him on the retrain. Not in the retrain. Get him to replace him so I can move the dude out from the Predator, Predator Massa. Or Mesa. Oh, Chris retrains. Lovely. That's, I don't know what that retrain's about, so I'm not going to probably adjust the Chevron stuff. Uh, oh, Christ. Darvulk. Nice. Got a retrain going there, but nothing much going on. Let's keep um, a cavalry train going. Over to Tenmar. Got as much. We got as much as uh, we could, which was two. <laughs> uh, retrained at Tenmar. Construction report or Christ. And then onto the ballista maker. Hmm. That wouldn't be a mad shout, would it? After the ballista maker, though. I don't think it's worth me to get that just yet. What about rotation fields? Gives me extra 50. Pop, pop, plus population increase. Um, maybe not. Maybe not. What about the caravan shop? It's, popula it's just a straight up population growth. That doesn't seem to work. I think I'll hold fire on what I'm building there for now. Caravan. Mm. Over to caravan. I'm not going to get a dark brother road. Small shrine to Jacquardy. Cool. Leather, tanner, boya, essentials, brothel. Yes. Nothing else left in that tree. What about Q stalled? Nothing. Besieged at Hakushe. Besieged at Tenmar. And the only occupied at Port Portnew. Which is not bad. Not bad at all. What I do want though is this place. It's not going to be an easy one. We need to get him into melee combat as quickly as possible. But we should be okay, I think. The fact that I've only done one ladders though is a bit weird to me. But they don't have many. They don't have many melee, so I'm, pro I'm probably thinking I can get away with it when I was doing it at the time. Okay. Maybe get away with it. We'll see. We'll see. I'm hoping I can get away with it. Fingers crossed. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. For the moment, the fickle smile of fortune shines upon us. Pray this is a portent of a victory. It is. It is a portent of victory. You're on the ladders. I would I mm, yeah, let's have you on the ladders. Start battle, pause. Interesting. Who's this? The mages. I'm gonna send the mages. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to send them. Okay. They're pretty much just holding the line, aren't they? I'm going to have them run. And then I'm going to have them run. Oof. That's a lot of damage. They're just there to tank the damage, to be honest, them guys. Ay, ay, ay. That's a lot of damage. Uh, I moved them a bit too far forward. Look at that nonsense. Just keep going, just keep going. Oh, de lala. That's a lot, a lot of damage. Hey, hey, hey. That hurts my soul. That was 13% in that one thing. 
Oh, assaulting the walls in this game is, in this mod is brutal. I'm gonna have these go up the ladders as well because I want to kill off the battle mages. How much on the door? Goes up by about 12% each turn, does it? Yes. made of clay. We are winning the battle. Know what? You're gonna come through with the door, in fact. And I'll have these go through the door and then up through the tower. Oh. That's mean. Man. We have taken the wall. You routed. Time we captured this place. No shot they routed. Mental. I wasn't expecting that. Wasn't not expecting that at all. A four fight with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. Move my general a bit closer. They're just ignoring me. Interesting. And they just routed as well. Mental. Mental indeed, in fact. Can't believe they just don't want any of the smoke. They're just ignoring me completely. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that on um today. You buggers. That's all three of them gone. That's just morale though, isn't it? It's just morale. In for the battle mages. Oh. Get off that. Come in here. They're not going anywhere. I'm not letting them get out of here. Beautiful, got them gone. Time our foe will surely see this and lose heart. Where are you? Come here. Go over there, start attacking them. You lads, attack them. We need to focus them. Where are you going? No, thank you. After the auxiliary spearmen, please. Um, auxiliary spearmen. The auxiliary cohort, please. Nice. Hoping that they come back. You can get up on the walls for me. And they're just ignoring me as well. Why do they always do that? Why do they always go so close to them? It's like they don't want to throw their charges or something. It's not something I can un understand fully. If I'm being honest. Not something I can fully understand. Rather, I should say... Get into him. Come on, rally. Rally. Bring the general in. For morale support. Everybody in else just get in and start killing him. They're gonna start charging through. Lovely, lovely. Can you stop firing at them? If I just move you on to like this like corner, maybe you'll start firing then. There we go. They don't wanna do it. They don't wanna do it. That's fine. Run on through, general. They're out of range. For some reason they can't fire at these. Or can they? Oh, well, they can fire at them. They're just... No, I need, I'm, I'm, I need a bit more. I don't want to set my cavalry on fire. Nice, they're running. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Stay up there for a second. Are these going to come at me, or are they going to stay there? 
Ultimately, it doesn't matter too much. I'm going to kill them off. Alright. Let the general go around that way. Have you go around this way. And we'll start on getting them on a little bit of a pin. So they're not going to come towards me. So I'm going to try and... You will lure them. I'll just kill them straight up. Okay. Six times. Are you in... Cool. That was a... I, I, slightly confused. Let's just say. Slightly confused. Are they in range? No. Let's move as close as we can without triggering them to attack as, as such right let's have you go around you go around as well you can actually go up this way is that, are you in range now? you are in range now I don't want you to fire yet though not until I'm ready you guys can just make your way around with these guys as well. I'm going to run these. I don't really care about them being too tired. Why are they in... I don't understand. They're like in, stuck in loose formation for some reason. Which is, it, which is a bit interesting. Start firing. Come on. You know what? Pause. They're sending my general. Interesting. Interesting choice. Right, we're going to move up. Head on through. Head on through. Unpause. Attack. You guys attack them from the side as well. Oh, he's on a naval guard mode. Just don't want my general sending it by himself, which he's probably going to do. Which sucks. Get in there. I need to send, my, send, them every, send everybody in. I daren't leave my general in here for too long. There we go. Come on. Look how many I'm losing to this cavalry unit. The fact that my general cavalry is. Oof. Oof, that made me scared. And my breath, I just, breath just stopped, like completely and instantly. I was so scared for that then. Get out of here, General. Why are they chasing me? Whatever. End battle. Oof. Oof, indeed. That scared the hell out of me. Mmm, that scared the hell out of me. I was not enjoying that. That made me tremble. Deep inside my boots. Right, so. Pretty, a bit more costly than I was hoping for. 421. They're all gone, which is whatever. It's not, it's going to be a bit difficult to hold this place, but we needed to take it. For now, at least. Um, hopefully we can get some retrains going as soon as we do this. We didn't, well, we got some decent heals, in fact. 41 heals, so that's half of his. 43 heals, sorry. 18, not half of his, and 13, not half of his, or theirs. Mm. Suffered quite a few losses. Only got one archer as well, so we'd have to boost that. It's going to be difficult, but I might be able to hold this place. Especially with um, King Kashara roaming the lands, hopefully. 
we'll be able to get him to up and here up north to support them. Or well, he needs to be like in between so he can support Rimmon as well, don't it? Be difficult. Be difficult. Most definitely gonna going to be difficult. He didn't move this time around, which I'm pretty happy about. Now let me have vision. Where everybody is. Tell me where everybody is. I can. I'm gonna occupy because I don't want to lose any buildings. Oh, beautiful. Attack me by yourself. Attack me by yourself. Try increase fair and rule. Not bad. You head north. Right. Dude, get out of my way. Why are you there? Uh, well, I guess he did move, in fact. Then he just went He just went towards uh, Predator Massa. I have to tell him to move here again. Boom. Go. The, the fact that this is a little blank spot is a bit annoying. <laughs> How much is... It's 200. Can we go back to Dune right now? Okay. Move him into there as well. Have them just figure it out by themselves, I think. Uh, who? Captain Sabaka. That was the one that I sent towards Riverhold, right? I think so. I think me so. Right. Cavalry. Yes. There we go. Into Riverhold. You. Into Riverhold. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think what we do then is we go down to Hakashi and then we come back up towards Sanswell. Because they're probably going to move and attack us at Rimmon, so we can have to avoid that if we can. If we can. Not going to be an easy one. One second on that. Failing, you're going to be a pain. And the dude at Tenmar is going to be a pain as well. Not enjoying my time in Southern, and uh, Southern um, elsewhere apparently. Not enjoying my time at all. Can I recruit anything? Not really. Not until after I get these buildings. It's just a bit of, a bit of time away. Are they going to start going up to Stitches now? Please don't go up to Stitches. That is such a pain to like have to defend. It looks like they're more focused on where my armies are, which are pretty closer. But if they do go up to, to the, um, the Stitches... They can have the stitches. As far as I'm concerned. They can have the place. I'm pretty... Actually, yeah, I'd be pretty fine if they went and take took stitch... Would I? Then that opens up with them up to Orcrest, and then they can go straight to my capital. Hakushi, Karinthe. Hmm. It spreads them out quite a lot. All my forces are located in the north and the south. It's things. Things to think about, right? Right then, when we come back, Gellius, Gellius, probably Gellius or something like that, right? Gellius is the dude that we're going to be going for. The general, is, the captain rather, is the Imperial Battle Majors, Light Legionnaires, followed by, and they've got some cohort archers. But it's a fairly doable army, especially with a ballista and two of our own sorcerers as well. We can get them out of there pretty easy. So we'll open it up on that. Get a save here because that is where we're going to call it for today. So, thank you for joining me once again. I am Offer of Mercia, and this has been episode 59 of our The Elder Scrolls Total War Mod and Aquina campaign. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you're enjoying that year content, and then really subscribe by pressing the little bell notification so you're notified every single time my content goes live. If you want to keep up to date on my content related updates, then don't forget to follow me on Twitter, which can be found in the description below alongside my paypal link so if you're feeling particularly generous drop us a quick quid very much appreciated but otherwise thank you 
and signing off.